So you're building a home lab and everyone keeps throwing around TrueNAS and Proxmox like they're interchangeable. Here's the thing though, they solve completely different problems and picking wrong could waste weeks of your time. TrueNAS is a storage-focused OS built on FreeBSD that turns any hardware into a network storage powerhouse. Think of it as the guy obsessed with one thing and does it incredibly well, data protection. TrueNAS Core is completely free, refreshing in today's subscription world. The interface is clean. ZFS file system is rock solid for data integrity, handling everything from simple file sharing to enterprise storage arrays. What surprised me most is how it just works out of the box. You're not wrestling with command lines for basic setup. Most users love the web interface for managing storage pools. The biggest complaint is it's built for storage first, everything else second. Want to run applications or VMs? You can, but it feels forced. Proxmox flips the script entirely. This is a virtualization platform that happens to do storage, not the other way around. Built on Debian Linux, Proxmox runs virtual machines and containers side by side, perfect for home labs and businesses needing flexible computing. The community version is free, but here's the catch, constant subscription reminders. Enterprise starts around 90 euros per CPU socket annually. The nagware gets annoying if you're not paying, but past that, the platform is incredibly powerful. Users rave about VM snapshots, host migration, and built-in backups. Learning curve is steeper than true NAS, especially if you're new to virtualization. Let's be real about what each excels at. True NAS is your choice if data is king. You need bulletproof storage with ZFS snapshots and replication. Or you're building a dedicated file server, perfect for photographers, video editors, anyone where data loss isn't an option. Proxmox wins when flexibility matters over pure storage performance. Perfect for testing multiple OS, running development environments, or consolidating servers into one box. Higher hardware requirements, but you get a full virtualization stack. Here's what nobody tells you. You can run both. Some users deploy Proxmox for compute and point it to separate true NAS for storage. Overkill for most home users, but it's the enterprise approach when you need both done right. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.